Nick and Shay, the sexual assault on these two young girls happened around 6 p.m. on a Saturday night last week. The library was crowded at the time, but nobody saw it happen. Details are just now emerging, while the suspect is behind bars. According to arrest records, 19-year-old Scott Moore is charged with statutory rape and indecent liberties on a minor. On Saturday, February 7th, he arranged to meet with a Burlington woman in Belk Library. That woman brought along her young teenage daughter and a friend, aged 13 and 14. And according to campus police, while the mother worked on a computer, Moore took the girls to this hallway near the first floor bathroom, where the sexual assault took place. When the girls told her what had happened, she took them to the Alamance Regional Medical Center. And the suspect took off, but was eventually caught near campus by police. This was an isolated incident, and I, I don't see any dangers, uh, you know, to any students, uh, you know, in regards to this case. Moore is now in Alamance County Jail on a $100,000 bond. His first court date is scheduled for April 17th. The incident raises concerns about public access in Elon's private student library. That's really scary. That doesn't seem very safe, and the library seems like a pretty non- scary place. Burlington residents such as Scott Moore must register at the front desk to gain access, but the university does not want to limit the number of outsiders coming in. We don't prohibit people from using it, but the purpose of the library is for the Elon campus community. A university spokesman tells us there are no plans to change security measures at the library, but they do urge students to be aware of their surroundings while studying. Phoenix 14 News will keep you updated as this case develops. For now, we're live at Belk Library. I'm Randy Gyllenhaal, Phoenix 14 News Tonight.